back in there, YouTube. Your good friend, Dustmer, coming at you almost live. Yeah, almost live. Some gameplay from uh, earlier today, Saturday morning. A little Operation Firestorm. BF3 is the game. PC is the platform, of course. <laughs> nah, not rubbing it on you. And uh, Conquest is the game. So what be going on, fine folks? Haven't been at you for a bit. I've been debating about what you know what it is I want to put up uh, again for another video since uh, my last BF3 video got so many views. <laughs> uh, you know, part of it is uh, this is what I've been playing quite a bit. Uh, I've also been you know busy, and you know again, you know again I'm uh, you know I own my own business, so sometimes you know sometimes real life gets in the way of fun life. You know, damn you, real life. <laughs> So I've been a bit uh, busy de debating whether or not I wanted to put together a bit of a montage. Uh, you know, I, 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 yeah. slowly but surely I'm gathering together some clips for that. You know, I got a couple of pretty cool ideas, but uh, ah, the words of Forrest Gump, something bit me. I'm out. <laughs> Back out of there. And uh, what else be going on? So, uh, you know, reportedly, <laughs> breaking news. Or, you know, uh, what is it? The reliable sources say, and ooh, tank. I'm gonna use a little rabbit peanut uh, tactic here. A little shout out to rabbit peanut. What's up, man? Uh, awesome uh, PC player that uh, I play with uh, here and there, and, and also against, which is a pain in the ass. But uh, it, you know, reliable sources say that uh, you know we should see the uh, the patch, as uh, I like to call it, uh, finally drop this week. Uh, waiting on certification, uh, fortunately, for us PC players for the consoles, because uh, we call it their EA Dice uh, together. They would uh, they'd like to update all platforms at the same time. Hey, whatever I'm that, you know, that's out of our hands. What do you, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, you can cry all you want, I guess, about it, or you can just, you know, life goes on. Uh, you know, I call it the patch because you know I put up a post in uh, community forums. I've been operating, uh, you know, old school gamer here, so you know that 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 site's been run, uh, running since what I put it up in like 2002 or something crazy like that. Anyway, so I put the patch notes up in a uh, ah something bit me again, and uh, I put the patch notes up in the community forums. Oh, ooh, you did! Unfortunately, I'm all at health, and now I'm dead. Uh, I put the patch notes up in the community forums, but it took three forum posts that kept exceeding the uh, maximum character limit. So you know it's a big ass patch when it takes when the patch notes are you know three <laughs> three forum posts long just to incorporate all the all the patch notes. Uh, again, I'm, I'm a you know old school gamer, you know, and I'm not wagging any peen here about this one. You know, it's just you know I'm just older, so I've been around through the whole quote unquote gaming. I'm putting up the air quotes even though you can't see it. Quote unquote gaming. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I've been around for the, the gaming and it's been my my gaming experience. Uh, watch me fail, shooting at these guys on the roof, fail and uh, fail again. Boo Dasmerd. No. Uh oh, something bit me again. Run for the rocks! Cover! Uh, it's been my experience when these big giant patches. <laughs> You know, I, I'm leery because uh, usually it's fix ten things and uh, break and, and <laughs> normally what happens break something real good and break something one or two other things uh, not you know, you know good enough that it's worked but uh, the only thing the only comfort that I have playing on uh, Battlefield 3 on PC is that you know even if uh, EA Dice can't come up with a, com uh, a, a quick fix right away. You know, the, at least the community's been pretty good, you know, again, something bit me and, ah, uh, pre fired around the corner. Uh, ah. uh, is that the community can come up with a fix, you know, fingers crossed that you know, that doesn't go down, but, you know, if you go through and, I, you know, considering it's probably going to come out this week, and because it is such a big giant patch, uh, I would def definitely uh, encourage you to go out and take a look at the patch notes, because uh, while we, it's, you know, in a lot of ways, the game's going to change. Get ready for a whole lot of crying. <laughs> That's all I know. Um, it sounds like, to me, they're going to balance it back to what uh, Battlefield, uh, the Battlefield series, generally speaking. And here's me failing, shooting at the guy in the rock. Uh, 
what do you call it there, the Battlefield series generally has been an infantry driven game with uh, vehicles, uh, well, you get the three dimensional warfare, you know, you get the land, air, and, uh, and ground. So you get your ground troops, you get your land vehicles, and you get your air vehicles. The original Battlefield uh, 1942 had even uh, a couple of maps with C, but uh, that's uh, something for a different video. Uh, is that, uh, you know, it was generally an infantry driven game, and the vehicles were used for support. So, you know, it looks like we might balance it a bit for that. And also, don't forget, we've got an upcoming DLC. Well, we've got multiple upcoming DLCs. That was a nice little announcement from this past week. And if you haven't checked out that, uh, definitely check out the video for Close Quarters. I know some people were saying that, uh, ooh, it looks like a uh, Battlefield COD version. Uh, to me, it doesn't look like COD to me. Actually, it reminds me quite a bit of the Rainbow Six series, one of my favorite uh, Close Quarter games. And I really wish that Ubi could get off its stupid high horse and uh, come back into the first person shooter market. Who knows, maybe it has something to do with that uh, you know, quarter percent interest that the uh, EA ended up buying in that company. But that uh, that video really reminded me, especially like uh, a Raven Shieldy type map. Uh, well, when that game uh, did work, which was not too much on PC, unfortunately. <laughs> but some older school folks out there, well, even, uh, what do you call it there? And I'm failing here with the, with the lays, top, or lays targets with the jab. Dar. And, uh, yeah, you can, you can laser those tanks, but you can't laser his dead copter. Uh, shot in the back. I, I think this has got to be the game I've been shot in the back the most in ever out of any game, like first Richard Shooter I've ever played. Uh, well, it'd be a high, it'd be definitely a high, uh, what do you call it, uh, a pretty close tie between this and uh, Counter Strike Source. So, yeah, that's what's going on with the patch. Like I said, get ready for a lot of crying. Uh, there's going to be a lot of, it looks like a lot of vehicle changes. Uh, you know, you know, tanks are going to finally be able to do one-shot kills. Um, one-shot sniper kills, I've heard as a rumor. Here's hoping, uh, you know, the one thing that really irks me about this game is the standing up sniping thing, and that's a, that's a bit of a COD thing. Uh, any kind of decent sniper is going to be laying fucking down because that gun shoots a big, gigantic bullet. <laughs> Uh, and you need to lie down to absor you know to help absorb that recoil. <laughs> uh, thanks, God. Nah, I'm, just, I'm messing. It's you know it's uh, it's a first-person shooter. Uh, the woes of a Jav user, I'll tell you folks right there, is that you end up dying lots uh, shooting stuff. But ooh, spawn back at the base and give me a tank. I uh, you know I'm uh, oh by the way in this. Uh, in Battlefield so far, the class I've enjoyed and I end up playing like I think 80% of the time with is a uh, is the engineer class. Uh, what am I, I'm on like my seventh, working on my seventh star or something like that. And this is a great little sequence. Check this out here. Me and this damn tank here. Um, yeah, one, yeah, I fail as I. You can hear the guy in the background there. I don't know if you can hear over me talking on the music, but uh, you can hear him. Hear the. Oh, look, he's back to full strength. Yay, thanks, guys. There's like three of you back there running around. You didn't see the guy fixing the tank? So what else be going on? Uh, a whole bunch of football. You know, I'm also a big football nut. We're in the, uh, what do you call it there? The, uh, you know, the throws of free agency. And we got the draft coming up and all kinds of crazy movement. Crazy rumors about my 49ers. I guess we'll find out early next week about it. And we'll see. We'll see. Um, oh, and speaking of Spawn Trap uh, podcast, there, uh, one thing that they, you know, by the way, if you're not watching it, uh, it's Spawn, Cat, Spawn Trap, one word, retribution. Spawn Trap underscore retribution there. I'll throw a link up in the, in, uh, the description there for it. Uh, definitely check out the video. Uh, check the gate at NASA 1. You can say a lot of things about them, but, you know, they're two real people. Uh, I'll give them that. You know, I should have shot that guy, but it was, you know, being a team player. Spot him first, then shoot him. Um, you know, they're, they're two real guys. They have real opinions. They're two adults. Uh, 
you know, so that's all nice. The two experienced game players too. You may not agree, and uh, most definitely I do not agree with everything they gotta say. But you know what? That's life, man. You're not gonna agree with everybody, but everything. But one thing that they do go on about, and uh, especially about the battlefield, is uh, their strong dislike. Uh, I guess you could call it for the higher ticket servers. And in some ways, I can I can understand that. Like when you get up from the 12, 1500 range, and you know, uh, what do you call it there? The 12, 1500 ticket servers style range. I can understand that. That's a, that's get can get to be a pretty long ass game. Um, you know, if you don't got the time to sit sit around and play that kind of game. Uh, but you know my issue with uh, playing on a, a lower ticket server and here you can this is a great example in this game here of a bit of an issue with the lower ticket server is you know and a lower ticket I would define as you know like the four or five hundred range Ooh, my puppy just came down I got I got a puppy by the way uh, I'll throw videos of that one day maybe my dogs um, we call it there you know the four four to five hundred ticket server range and this is a great example is these guys the, the the op four team was able to run out and they grabbed uh, you know three or five points and you know especially and I, I uh, you know my experience is you know you're playing on a bit of a befuddled team there well you know you're gonna end up spending like half your tickets just to, just to get back that one point never mind a couple others so I don't know you know teach your own you know uh, befuddled players. Imagine that a lot of people play games to have fun. <laughs> and, you know, everybody plays for their different own motivations. Uh, and remember, in th this gameplay, I'm soloing. So, and the only other person really I know on this server, and they ended up joining on me, was uh, uh, a buddy of mine uh, from my community. Uh, his boy Seals Bowden there. Uh, so, but we're not even on Teamspeak or Skype or anything like that. It's just. Uh, Gaming, and I guess he's sort of following me around. He's not, actually not that bad of a player, so and a little shout out. Hey, hey, boy, what's up? What's up, little man? Uh, so yeah, that, you know that's that's the way your dad, your good friend Dasper feels about it. You know, nice thing about playing on a higher ticket server, you know, 900 to 1,000 tickets, good game, can be challenging. Yeah, they can be absolutely massive blowouts. You're absolutely right about that. Um, but uh, you know, they could also be awfully, awfully effing close. So, here you go. Break yourself. <laughs> uh, speaking of, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about overpowered guns in this game, uh, and their favorite uh, topic for scorn is the USAS or the USAS uh, auto shotgun. Yeah, that thing's overpowered up close, but it's an automatic shotgun. So what do you want it to be? Myself, I find that G18 to be one of the more overpowered guns, and the damn. Stupid light. What? Hopefully that uh, that fixes in there. Cause I'm sorry, but a flashlight shining in your face in, in broad daylight. I don't care what kind of flashlight it is. What's it powered by? Like eight million watts. It's not gonna blind you like the, like the way flashlights do in this damn game. And coming down. Oh, I can start to hear the music there in the background. And we lose. Now what are you gonna do? But your good friend Dasmerg, top of the board, and I even end up with the uh, MVP ribbon. You know, to me, uh, KD and Conquest matches don't mean nothing, man. That score at the at the end of the line, and did you win or lose? Didn't uh, didn't win, unfortunately. But uh, still, good individual performance. Check you later, there, YouTube. Thanks for watching. You're just another victim. You're just another victim, kid. You're just another victim. You're just another victim, kid. You're just another victim. You're just another victim, kid. You're just another victim. You're just another victim, kid.